Hey everyone, this is SG DeVries. In my previous video, I built the wooden tripod, and in this video, I will be building the parallel arm boom here to hold my iPad bracket. If you watched the previous video, you'll know that at the top of the tripod, there are three plates. There's a bearing plate, a rotation plate, and then this mounting plate, which holds the actual bracket to mount the boom. We cut the circle in the last video, but we'll start by doing some modifications to this plate at the beginning. The first modification that I have to do is drill a larger hole right in the center here so that I have clearance for that lock nut that holds the rotation plate on. Then I cut three small dowel segments. Now these small dowel segments will get glued into the bottom of the plate here, and they are what actually keep this mounting plate in place on the rotation plate. There are three parts to the mounting bracket that hold the boom in place. Now there's one larger central piece and there's two smaller ones on the side and all three of those get shaped and then there's a semicircle cut out of the bottom so that I can get a wrench in and adjust that lock nut that tightens on the rotation plate if I need to. The central part is glued on first and then I use a couple of sections of threaded rod here to align the side pieces and glue those into place. I also use pins up through the bottom but I'm not going to show that. I cut all the strips for the parallel arms in the last video, but the top beams here need to be a little bit thicker because they also have to support that counterweight. Now my original piece of wood wasn't quite thick enough to make those part all one piece of wood. So I'm cutting a couple of additional strips here and I'm just going to glue those on and then we'll sand those smooth. There's a little bit of hole drilling here for all the mounting brackets to hold these parallel arms together, but nothing quite as detailed as doing the legs where I needed those adjustable segments. This bracket is what I use to hold the iPad in my shop on some extension arms, which I have another video about. So the bracket's already built, but I need to build a mounting bracket to hold this bracket to the parallel arms. Just like with almost everything I do, I draw it out on my computer first to make sure all the holes align and everything works. And then I can trace that pattern onto a piece of wood and drill the holes and shape the part. The front end of this piece needs to be a bit wider because it needs to hold that sphere at the top of my iPad mounting bracket. So after that glue is dry, I'll just do a little bit of sanding here. And then there's some markings I have to do because I have to drill some holes to hold that sphere and the half inch shaft that is drilled and glued into it. Sorry about the camera wobble here. That's part of the reason I'm building this boom arm to begin with so I can avoid things like that. So this front bracket gets a larger hole drilled for the sphere at the top, that's just an indentation and then a larger hole gets drilled down all the way through. A slot gets cut in the front of this bracket as clearance for the half inch shaft that's glued into the sphere. And then there's a bunch of extra shaping. Now most of this is just aesthetics, just because I liked the way it looked better than having the square edges. And you can see here how these two brackets fit together. It holds it nice and securely. It's not going to fall out anywhere, but it's still loose that I can rotate it 365 degrees. And then the iPad bracket itself also has a uh, tilt on it so that I can get whatever angle I need. The next piece to build is the bracket that will hold the counterweights at the back of the boom arm. I won't take a lot of time showing this. Uh, these brackets are made out of plywood, but it does require some very specific openings and some specific holes to hold my counterweights. For counterweights, I am just using two heavy-duty plastic bottles and going to be filling them with sand. Now my calculations show that this will be enough weight, but I guess we'll find out soon. 
The last thing to build before assembling the boom is a couple of knobs here that I just drill indentations and put T-nuts in. And it's finally time to assemble all the pieces. I find that it's easiest to attach the parallel arms to the central bracket first. And I'm just using pieces of quarter 20 threaded rod for this. The knobs that I built will just go onto either side here and can be used to lock the boom down so that it can't move up or down. There is a small bracket that goes between the parallel arms, about halfway between the mounting bracket and the front end. Now that's just to keep things spaced correctly and give it a little extra stability. It's time to put that bracket on the front of the boom. Now on the entire boom, I'm actually using nylon washers just so that the movement is a little bit smoother. And I'm also using lock nuts just so everything is nice and tight but can still rotate easily. The counterweight obviously hangs off the back of the boom. And then it's finally time to attach the boom to the tripod. Now this boom just sits in place on top of that tripod, utilizing those three mounting pins in the plate just to keep it from falling off. What I have done with the two counterweight system is the first counterweight here is just used to offset the weight of the iPad bracket without the iPad in it at all. The second counterweight then is used to offset the weight of the iPad itself. And I'm pretty happy with the way that this works. I've got lots of flexibility in the height of the tripod. The boom has got a nice long reach, so I should be able to get any angle that I want to in my shop. And it should hold the iPad a lot more steady so I don't get that wobble that I was getting before. That's it. Thanks for watching.